Another day I get better like every day How you feeling? I'm feeling good How your money? My money great My your been it could been it pay Close it to you really be fake Woman yeah. lost me but it ain't cost me yeah. how you What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jake Smurf here And I'm back with another video But and welcome to the first video of my new series Podcast series called Smurf's Cash Bruh Today I got my boy MD You can introduce yourself What's, what's, what's good, you told You know, that's MBD Bar, the greatest motherfucker rapper, man. Biggest dreamer. How uh, y'all doing today? You know, I got my boy Ink here. <laughs> what it do, what it do? Uh, you know, it's your boy Ink. Uh, follow my Instagram. Yeah, I'm just a vibe. You dig what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to put everybody's link in the description down below. So, for the Smurfs cast here, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what it's going to be about. So, most so most times gonna be on different subjects. Subjects sometimes, like, well, I don't know. You'll see, like we're gonna be asking questions. Like it's really not for just artists, but like it's just anybody who got something going on, like business wise, artists, anything you got going on for yourself and you help promote. Then that's what gonna be the podcast. Where we're gonna be speaking about that, other topics and shit like that. But yeah, and ain't gonna be hosting this video video each of us like i mean we each can ask our own questions if we got some not just him but he's mainly gonna be the one hosting it and we're gonna get started right now yo 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 so all right so i know y'all do music you know what i'm saying i, I you swear you the you the hard one out here I hope but uh so like what inspired y'all to do music though you know what i'm saying like not who but like what what inspires you i'm from i'm from I grew up around shit, I seen shit, hear stories from my pops, my older brother and shit. And I'm like, I already know how it go. I mean, I easily, you know, could easily go out there and be on that shit and rob all y'all, shoot everybody, but it's like, who gonna tell that story though? If everybody dead in jail, who gonna tell that story? I'm just I'm trying to tell that story. Okay. For me, if I read mental health issues, like it was on, um, well, I started this because of that shit I was going through at the time, and it's like, I could, like, I want to make music that people that brings awareness to that, like, stuff like that, people going through something mentally, because, like, I hear, you hear people like, making music all the time about what they went through, like, physically, like, how people live and stuff like that, but, like, you don't hear too much of what people went through mentally, like, that's mentally damaging to you, like, I'm trying to find work for it shit like that, but y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to make music like that that can help people. So you like helping people? Yeah, that's what I really, that's one of the main reasons why I started this shit. Uh, my main goal is to help people. Like, I want to help the homeless. I want to help anybody who's in need or anything. Like, that's the main thing I want to do. I want to have my family, because my family, especially when I see my, my mama and my dad really mainly, because my mama, she be, she don't say it much, but like I know she dealing with something mentally and shit like that. And then my dad, he's, uh, I wouldn't say he's struggling a lot because he worked like a motherfucker, bro. Like that's where I get my lessons from, like him. Yeah. And he, like, I want to, like, buy him shit. Like, I be using all his shit sometimes. Like, that, that I, I may not say thank you all the time, but I really do appreciate it. Like, appreciate it. But, like, I want to help. I want to buy him shit, my whole family shit. Like, I want to, because really, I'm the black, sh I've heard that all my life. Like, you gonna be the one to do this, you gonna be the one, you a black sheep of family, like you gotta take us out of this, stuff like that. Like, I really, when I was young, when they told me that when I was younger, I was like, okay, like, da da da, but now I see what they going, what they, what they mean by that, because I, got, I wanna help my family first, people around me, and the people in the, across the world, and shit like that, so. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Okay, so, what kind of music you guys rock like you know is it like just straight hip hop is it like is it is it is it, is it, is it soft music if it is it music you trying to have people feel you heart wise or you want to give them that drill music oh, <laughs> you ready to give them that yeah one thing about a dreamer is a dreamer gonna dream whatever any song I I can make any song I wanted to for real like, it just depends on the mood. Yeah, I, I set the mood, though. I want to be like, think about Drake. Whenever Drake dropped a song, he set the mood for the rest of the year. Whatever song, whatever songs dropped after that, man, it's just following that mood. I want to be that template. 
So say, I'm feeling like, all right, you niggas got me fucked up. And I start talking my shit on these niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk shit. Yeah. Uh, but I, you know, right now, I'm, I'm on my little lovey dovey shit. I'm going through a little situation, so it's been a show in the music, and then eventually I'm going to go into the player shit. I can, like I said, I can rap it all. A dream is universal. Push, push, push. I'm just thinking about it.
What about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, besides the challenge, because I know you didn't do the challenge, right? Right. So, you know, but as far as your music and things like that, like, if you was to, you know, get on tomorrow, out there, you know what I'm saying, cloud-wise or whatever, would, would you be ready for the world? If you hit me now? Yeah. No. Okay. I think that should work out. You think I should work on this yeah, stuff? Yeah, like, to perfect my like, better. Yeah, like, that idea. Like, I'm getting better. Like, you really get better to probably, I thought it would take more years. <laughs> yeah, because it's different from, like, 300 people knowing you to, like, 300, thousand or three million like that I, I mean that's pressure but i would love it i want it though like, for it. i want that person but i want it though like hey. i would love that shit like because if i do get up there it's all because of them and support them and that's like yeah. i feel like i already don't talk to people much about much about me but i'm talking i'm telling people i don't know through a song about me and then and what say good is like my music that gets me comfortable with them and then with YouTube too, like, yeah, like me doing YouTube, that's a big, that's a big, that was a big step for me. Cause even though it's not talking to somebody, I know I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. And it's like, when I'm able to be myself, like, when you, cause when you don't give a fuck about what people think of you, then that's you when- You peace. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? You know, like, you straight. Doing YouTube, like, yeah, there's music, that should be a piece of hell, but I've never been so happy before my life. It's so depressed. So sad, for no reason at all. You can't never learn about what nobody to say. People gonna talk regardless. People gonna leave comments regardless. People gonna hit them right, but it's people. People just gonna do what people do. You know, they yeah. gotta do you. It's about you gonna be talked about as a bum, or you gonna be talked about. You know, you're a real nice snake. And all publicity is good publicity. You feel me? Like I be getting like that. But don't be out here doing dumb shit. That's not good publicity. Like yeah, it's gonna be for a little bit. Then you just gonna yeah. be known as a dumb ass snake. Right. <laughs> Don't chill too much though, you gotta, you know, turn that hustle up. I'm mean, gonna turn that hustle up to get the money. No, I mean, like, be, you know, like, um, as a person, you get money. No, like, I'm, I'm still gonna grind it up, like, you know, that, like, nothing's about it. I can't stop that. So, out of, out of, out of, you guys' friends we gotta hang with. Me. Yeah, I think you guys are the, like, the best. Like, out of, out of, out of you, uh, who else? Tyon, City. Mean, uh, so you think you the best? No, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying you the best out your crew. Of course. <laughs> I feel like no, I feel like each of us got unique. <laughs> I, I hope y'all homeboys see this uh, podcast. <laughs> I know, I know, they, know, know they gonna talk their shit. Y'all better pop that shit. But it's not about that. That's really not about that. It's just we all are unique in our own way. We all good at something. Yeah, but just on the fun day, like y'all chilling or something, like it's cool to have like a friend. A friendly rival, like a friendly competition, you know what I'm saying? Like a friendly, like, like you know, like, you know, it ain't no smoke, you know, type of thing. Like, I mean, you know? if it do come, then I don't know, I feel like I could be better in most ways because I could, because I do every genre. I mean, y'all hard at this certain shit, like rapping, but <laughs> otherwise, other than rapping, yeah. I could not be able to freestyle. You got that shit, but. I everything else, I got it. Okay. You know, I like your confidence, you know, what you believe in yourself is the best thing. But me, my confidence comes from this proof. I am this the proof that I'm the best. You don't get better than me. I mean, I can improve. I'm not the best version of me, but I'm the best rapper. I'm the best, not even rapper, I'm just not rapper, because I don't, I don't just rap, but think about it. Nice. I'm an artist, I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? But all my niggas go hard though. I'm not putting down none of my none of my guys. Yeah, and yeah like, down. and I was saying it like that. Like, it's not putting your guys down, but if you, you know, you chilling with the gang or something, you know, niggas start rapping and shit. It's a friendly battle. Like, it's a friendly. It's like it's, it's nothing serious, you know. Type of shit. And on the side note, if any nigga feel hit that I just said I was the best, then y'all must think I suck or something. Cause what the fuck you offended for? Pop your shit, yeah. <laughs> Nah, everybody doing that shit though. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, I wanted this to get in there. Like, everybody else can do that. I'm like, y'all got that. <laughs> That's just challenging. Like, I'm gonna go make money while y'all do that. Y'all can bet if we get it. Let's get out and each other's money betting that shit. But I wanna keep making my own. Oh, 
I'm finna make money in the best, you know. If I wanna knock on the best rapper, I'm finna drop the song, see how who make the most money off of. Right. Like all, all my competitions, I want my competitions to boost everybody around me. So if I say I'm the best, okay, I think y'all the best, so show me something, you feel me? I got songs doing hundred K, ten K, twenty K and that at, at skill wise, it's just I'm just I just got a different skill set, you know what I'm saying? So right now, your best song is what? Right now, like, what's the number one song that you would say that you got out right now that that you think you, you know, a hit? Released, I say Suave, just cause it's not like my best, like, lyrical, but it's like my little vibe, you know, everybody fuck with this little party song and shit. But Unreleased, I got a song with my cousin called Famous, and we've been sitting on it, and once we drop it, it's called Famous for a reason, it's gonna be one of those, and that's why, yeah, that's our best song. What about you, Jay? Smart. What song do you think that you have out right now that you know people can listen to that you say like it's one of your best? Like and Proud. You know? Black and Proud. Black and Proud. Okay. Definitely a song for you know being black and, you know, standing together, being united as one and stuff, right? Yeah. That's what I got from it, yeah. Pop song, like, um, my first one was R&B, second was hip hop, and this is my first pop song, but it's like, it's like, just, just for Black History Month, like, then, cause I wanted to drop it when that shit happened a couple months ago, um, no, it was, um, something happened a couple months ago, I forgot what it was. But I was like, I felt like it was too early, so I was like, I'm just gonna drop it February because that's Black History Month. That's just gonna uplift Black people, like, and just be proud of who you are, basically. Yeah, just even with the shit going on, like, you still just gotta stay strong, keep doing what you're doing, and live your life. Okay. So, like, what would you um? What would you, uh, what's one thing you wish you had known when you began, like, music? Like, what's the, what's the pro, what's the cons to it? Like, what you? I wish I would have known the fact that the more music I made, I was going to get better. Because I always didn't want, or the more music I put out, I was going to get better. Like, the more input I got from other people, I just always wanted to wait to come out until I felt like, I was not professional, but like the only way to get there is you gotta put out, you know, you gotta put out some weak shit every once in a while so you can know, okay, do this and that. Like now it don't matter. When I make a song, I try to hit the studio because I'm like, nah, I'm confident in that every song I make is gonna be a banger. You know? mm -hmm. And I just wish I would have known that earlier because I probably could have started going heavy on it sooner because I've been doing this shit since like middle school. I'm like, I could have had the same energy that I have for it now, now that I know I can really do it back then. Okay. Mm. That, but that's basically the same thing, like, cause right now I am doing that, like trying to choose my best songs to put out, but like, cause I be trying to put out like my songs that I feel like ain't gonna do that good. Like I wanna just put them in an album and shit like that, but like, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out because sometimes my plans change, so. You said you want to put the bad songs on the album? Yeah. Why? Well, not that, I mean, they're not bad, bad songs, like, they're just like the least hyped song for me. Okay. Uh, I would say album supposed to be, um, you know what I'm saying, your, your hits. Mm -hmm. I learned from, I think it was like a Nipsey Hustle. I seen a Nipsey Hustle interview and he said, don't even, don't even drop an album until you got like heavy fan base. Cause apparently that's what they used to negotiate your deal. So if you like independent and you like fresh and you start dropping albums, they can see, oh, you only did a hundred views. They not, they not ever, nobody gonna sign. If you like dropping his tapes and shit, then once you not got that fan base and then you can drop an album and see, but like don't what even do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I see that. What's your biggest failure? Mm -hmm. Shit, and I answer this one too. <clears throat> what? 
I'm gonna go first. Well, my biggest failure is um, it's just not doing it. It's just like not doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like you, you got one life to live. You know what I'm saying? You like you're your own individual person, even if you're married, together, single, or whatever. You have to be at peace. You have to live life. You have to enjoy life. You only get one. You know what I'm saying? And by uh, time is money. Like you shit, you can get money back, but you can't get time back. You know what I'm saying? So. Just basically not not doing what I want to do in life, type of thing. Yeah. Well, can you have not taking risks? Basically. And then regret, like, I regret that all the time. Like, God, you should be kidding me. But I started like, putting myself out there more, so. Do what I usually wouldn't do, so. I just started doing it. And I feel better, it's like, I'm getting better, like. More peace, happiness, finally. But still working like to get to the happiest place. Okay. My biggest phase, I think I send a memo real quick. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest phase, I try, I try, I spend too much time trying to bring people with me. I'm like, you know, it's a lot of people who just never made it to where they wanted to be in life or they not where they want to be in life, and then you got, you know, somebody who knows exactly where they want to be, they got goals and shit that's that's higher than anything they ever seen before, so they trying to hop aboard the train, and then, you know, me being a good nigga I am, I'm trying to help everybody, I'm like, shit, if I know I'm finna eat, I'm finna make sure everybody eat, but my, um, our, my nigga Kadar, he explained it, he was like, nigga, that's like, you have a per you have a sandwich, and on that sandwich, you have enough mayonnaise for just your sandwich. But to take some of the mayonnaise off your sandwich and put it on another nigga's sandwich. Now y'all both just got barely mayonnaise sandwiches and it didn't help nobody. When instead, you feel me, you just wait till you there and then see how you can put niggas in position. And if niggas got a problem with you waiting for you to get there, then you know they didn't need to be there in the first place. Right, no, I definitely agree with that though, because cause, you know, definitely when you up, you gotta put niggas on around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely make sure your niggas eat. Definitely feed your niggas if, 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 if that's what it is, you know, type yeah. of thing. You know, yeah. especially if you got loyal people. For sure, for sure. That's what I'm saying too. I'm gonna have people around me too. Yeah. No, I ain't gonna have too many folks around me though. I'm gonna make sure yeah. everybody rich though, just in case I wanna pop out. We could do rich nigga shit, but I'm gonna be to myself. Man, 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 like the fake love, like you know niggas don't fuck with you, right? Like you know niggas don't fuck with you. But 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 you still fuck with them though, like they still fuck with you, but you know, deep down they don't really fuck with you. Yeah. How y'all deal with stuff like that? I don't give a fuck. I was born by myself. The only people who used to fuck with me, my mom, dad, mm -hmm. grandma. Them the only people I need. And if you don't fuck with me, fuck you. I know where I'm finna be and I'm finna be there with you whether you there or not. Okay. So you want to be a hating ass nigga and get left out, or you want to be a nigga who who want to actually see me do good and he might get blessed. You know? mm -hmm. That's the same thing because I like even though like I don't be getting along with my friends that well, but like I know at the end of the day there's gonna be them like I can go to at the end of the day. Like can't trust like give everybody a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So like there you go. Just in case, like, they, they might not be as real as they say. I know I'm real. But oh, yeah, for sure. I'm real exactly, real. but, like, as long as you know you, know you, that's all that matters, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. People gonna, like I said, people gonna always have something to say, man. Always. Me gonna always hate. That ain't job. Shit, man, you gotta wake up the next day and see, how can I get two, three more haters? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Man, let them folk do their job. If a nigga hating on you, you doing something right. Hey, who would y'all like? 
Y'all got in the industry. Who we tired? Like, smash. Like, like I'm top. I'm top. Like, I'm, like, I don't mean no disrespect or nothing like that. But, like, Ari? Ari? Who? Who fuck with Ari? Ari? Huh? Ari man? Yeah, who fuck with it? That is not the same Ari you talking about. Nah, it's her little bit of yeah, she have a little bit of money. I fuck with her though. You feel me? I fuck with yeah, her. I, I, I but I really, I would like definitely smash. I can't like, mean, I can't Respectfully, mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, type of thing. No, like, no disrespect. My girl. My girl for sure. All right. But get her rich, nigga, dick. Fuck you talking about. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I said it's not in the industry who I read. Oh, I thought it was talking about me, but I was in the industry. Uh, let me see. Doji Cat can get it. I ain't gonna lie. Doji Cat for sure. Yeah, Res sure. Respectfully, though. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, Beyonce. Yeah, so disrespectful. She got a whole husband and kids. We named single motherfuckers down there. I mean, <laughs> it's just a bad thing, right? Like, <laughs> and then you wanna work with her niggas is assault and professional. Niggas, <laughs> I won't even let no man lie to Beyonce. No, you cannot touch me. Like, I'm like that. If I really, really like a girl, bro, like, no, you cannot touch me. Don't touch my girl, bro. Like, like, like. Watch, yeah, watch like, the fuck out. Yeah. Hey, boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't die trying to chase a nut, man. It ain't worth it. So, yeah, I believe. So, so y'all never met a girl right bone, and she, she introduced you to a guy, and she said, oh, yeah, this is my brother. You feel me? But, like, it ain't her real brother, but he like. One thing, but I should take on that. I be knowing it's like if I if I get an instinct that is some funny shit, then I'm already I'm already knowing. I'm like, what's up, bro? And then I'm looking at you differently. But if it's like I can really tell, like, oh, that's really some some brotherly type shit, then it's like, then yeah. I'm just cool. Cause I ain't no jealous ass nigga. I know bro, if a bitch go to a bitch go to's up shit. I'm exactly. me. I it's okay. Exactly. Next one. So I call me the tennis swimmer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, this is stupid. Huh? I've never had a situation like that. For real. Mm -hmm. But this is using this situation like that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just probably hoping that. I don't know. <laughs> I probably wouldn't care. Yeah, I'll say he wouldn't even care. You got anything coming up? Any, 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 any new shit? Well, my new single Black and Proud just released and. Um, got a song for the smokers, um, the 420 and they stuff. I was supposed to have six, I did want two features, but then I just didn't, just had to do the whole song myself, so. What you got going on? Shit, you know, mm -hmm. like you said, I got that song where Yo Gotti said, shit, whoever made a song to it can release it, so I'm just waiting to figure out how to do that, then I'm going to drop that for sure. And then, I got... I just dropped I just dropped the song on Valentine's Day called Always. You know, it's gonna be part of my you know how like Toy Lanes had that shit where you just sample hell shit or it was like kinda remix of old school songs. That's what I'm doing. And the next one's gonna be twenty one questions and then the rest is gonna be a surprise. Y'all just gonna have to wait and see. But it's gonna drop before summer over with the show. Hey, that's funny, bro. No, that's funny because like I fuck with Shadow Man, but like he be low key trying to do dog. Like, y'all don't think so, man. Look, he tried to get so out of pocket, bro. Yeah, I know, but like, I fuck with him, bro, because it's like, 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 it's I'm right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but like, come on, bro. Like, he low key tried niggas, though, like, type shit. Respectfully. Man, that's why I'm trying to make sure my image is a normal image. So if you try some dumb stuff, I'll be like, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, you know how you sound right now? I just tell you gotta talk to interviewers sometimes. Cause niggas be saying dumb shit like you in the industry, but they gonna tell you the oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know, cause I'm not in the industry, so I don't know if I do it, it's gonna work. But just being who I am, I'm about like, why did you just ask me some shit like that? Like I, I ain't gonna lie, I seen this nigga talk about this, it was like a logic interview on the Breakfast Club. This nigga talking about some who the hell raped your sisters? I'd be like, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, bro? <laughs> Cut this shit off. Cause I was like, no. Don't ask me no dumb shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a chill ass person, but man, don't ask me no dumb shit. I don't give a fuck about fame enough to you just sit there and ask me a ton of shit.
that I gotta waste my energy answering. Man, I'll be cool. I hang with I hang with people that won't add them all of them. Are you? That yeah, nigga is the cowardest nigga in the fucking world. I don't bro. think you're the most peaceful one. I know. Well, I don't know, probably around your friends and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But when you're around me, though, like, you are peaceful because all you do is write music. Because this, this nigga write like three, four songs a day. Like, no other direction. He does. But back when we worked with this nigga, though, back when this nigga was, was, we was working with him, this man was the demon. But that nigga used to be on, on go mode at all times. Oh, really? <laughs> This nigga used to be cussing everybody out on the phone. I'm like, dude, phone that stuff, so we're gonna put it away. <laughs> so, yeah, so speaking on how we met each other, yeah, we was, we, was, we was working, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to say we was working, you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but, you know, moving forward, let's speak on, like, you know, how we got a little closer. So, we played basketball, right? Boom. Some of the most sorry is. Sorry, ass. Don't look over here. Don't Some of the most way. horrible players, people I've ever met in my life. I, I haven't played basketball in 10 years. I'm about to be 30. You feel me? That's an old ass me. But I don't look 30, so y'all already know. You feel me? You know the vibes. Good genius. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I ain't played basketball in 10 years, and I came out, and I beat eight people. I should have never came out there and beat eight people, and I haven't played basketball in 10 years. Listen, uh, y'all don't listen to this thing is unnecessarily strong. <laughs> did I or did I not drill you? Relax. Skunk. The first game was skunk. I skunked him the first I game. I also skunked this man, so whatever he said is irrelevant because <laughs> we both skunked each other. So no matter how many times he won, he already got skunked. So I proved I could beat him. That's all I was proving. <laughs> The first game, listen, the first game, I skunked to. The, the, we played with four games. I won all four games. I was tired. Cap. I was tired. So, so, my excuse was I was tired. So, I let you skunk me. You feel me? Stop giving up. You're never supposed to give up. I was tired. I just won like five games. Shit. Make it six. You didn't make it six. You could have made it six. What else I got to prove? I just won. I skunked to and I won five games. Well, now I can say I spent you back. Now you just you just Cause I was tired. It's useless. It sounds like excuses. But you listen, you way more than me, and you're taller than me. Not even just you, the the, the people he called, like his backup. I didn't call nobody. I was the backup. Was, <laughs> I said I came there saying I was a shooter, and I did not leave without his, making sure that was horrible. His backup was horrible. His backup was Tyler and, and Tariq. and Tariq. And they time, well, Tariq, what, like six? Yeah, Tariq. Three? 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 Same about this year. Four? Not that time. What? You like six three, six three. Oh, yeah, okay. He's like six three. You know what I'm saying? I'm six feet. But I should not be doing y'all like that, though. You feel me? But it was a six seven nigga. Yeah, I did it. This ain't no. It but it was a six seven nigga. Buck up. Look, nigga look like LeBron James Jr. And he was getting dead the same way. So it clearly is just something wrong with this nigga. This nigga's an abnormality. <laughs> Cause nobody else, I, I was doing it to everybody else. I had to, yes. we was playing twenty one. I was really scoring. I was just quiet with it, cause I was really dropping it. Okay, can't guard me from the three point line. Step up. You got to see the shot to 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 to, to actually understand. It's trash, but it go in. I can't see how it's trash. It it, go in. Bro, it's trash because it's like, how does this shit happen? Like he would literally step from the the, the three point line back almost to half court. And just shoot, and he go in. And they just guard it there, but you know, guard it. I'm just gonna start crossing up because the handles is there. Too. The handles is trash, trash. That's the that's. The, bar, you have no handles. The handles is I there. think Tyler handles is better than yours. That was so disrespectful. Like, I'm across the. I ain't know. Ty my guy, and that nigga is good at defense, but I'm 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 low key shifty. I'll be realizing I've been I've been at uh, LA Fitness at Camp Creek. Like if you didn't see me there, you know, you know that I'd be crossing niggas low key. I'd just be doing it so subtly, you know, niggas don't even realize they get that shook up. So I'm already gone. But yeah, don't. I mean, you can it's try to guard thing. Me. It's a mad thing to bar. <laughs> I be talking, I be telling people to come guard it. Like who really gonna guard a half court shot, even though they know it's gonna go in? Cause now you all the way up, and I'm just gonna cross your ass in there shoot a mid. But you know, it's, it's it's IQ. When you don't act, when you act like you don't got none, nobody know how to guard you. Hmm. That nigga shit. <laughs> hey, hey, 
Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about Jesus Knight. Yeah, about because they fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 everybody, in, no, it's not me being suck. I agree. No. Because I'm a no. shooter. You are. You are a shooter. Bro. You, you have no, no, no defense. You know what I'm saying? You better ask Tyon about me, Tyon. I mean, not Tyon, Tariq. That nigga 6'3", like y'all said, nigga tried to dunk on me on uh, Welcome Mall one day and got his shit blasted. Pause. But that nigga for sure, nigga. I'm him. I'm him on defense. I just be lazy. I was lazy. Just, come on, now. I had work. Nigga, I work. I had work. Oh, so you were lazy, but when I dripped you five games and I was tired. I was out of shape. You was in shape. Yeah, nigga. I, I was out of shape. I don't even work out. But you old, though. That you just automatically, you know, you're conditioned. Like oh, that. I'm conditioned. You, this thing is stupid, man. I don't need help. No, I don't. Yeah. See, I need help. You know what I'm saying? I, you did the hood strength. I had to work. See, that's the hood strength. I was, I was just. They just couldn't stop this shit. It just couldn't <clears throat> get off me. And uh, it was easy. It would have been a charge. I could have I I got a charge in the real game. But come on, now. we had the deal. I ain't <laughs> drawing no charges, but for sure. It was some offensive violations going on, but I ain't gonna get it. I ain't gonna alright, cause I insulted, cause I stuck him, so I ain't even tripping. That offense violation. Oh yeah. You probably gonna be here in three years. That's the right. You got to I will always beat them, no matter what. One on one, no one can beat me. All right, when I go back to college, one on I'm one play basketball, and I'm gonna show this thing. I'm gonna. I ain't even. I ain't even gotta go college to do shit. You don't matter, but but watch, watch. You're gonna be 32 getting whipped on by a 22 year old. Can't be. Mm-hmm. I can't let that happen. Yes. I might just even rise up on a nigga just because. And I'ma move. Niggas been saying I've been getting taller. You know what that means? I'm six two getting taller. If I let me hit six two, I'm gonna be taller. Yeah, 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 Golf, you hear me? It don't matter. But once I get that, hit that six five, oh yeah. So you think you just hit A one and everything? If I was six five, for sure, for sure, I would just. Um, I'm fucking with the confidence. So. But y'all been thinking I'm kind of like, if y'all y'all just gotta be me to understand why I'm like this. No, nigga, that's good to have fucking yeah. confidence. Nigga, you supposed to have confidence in yourself. You, Cause if you don't, nigga, how your fans and supporters are gonna have confidence in you? That's true. But I promise y'all can back everything I say up. Like I be saying some crazy shit, but nigga, I should I back my shit up? Yeah, like, like nah, I can definitely vouch for him for that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he is a little, you know what I'm saying? But you know. But he definitely be on his shit though, you know for sure. I think they're gonna hire y'all. It's the way he <clears throat> stuck. Yeah, and yeah. Kenny's in the video. Yeah, cause you just stuck. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, that had that had for the for the took him. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have been able to do that. Do the podcast. It's great. Mm-hmm. Just thinking about it over there, ain't? Mm-hmm. But yeah. He get high and this is how he acts. <laughs> and keep this shit in this video. He gets high and this is how he acts, guys. This is it. This is smurf for you. <laughs> this is what you get. Well, yeah, that's the end of the uh, smurf cast. Uh, I'm going to put everybody link in the description down below. Um, appreciate y'all for coming to this podcast. Thank you for coming. Right. For sure, for sure. And tune in to the next uh, Smartcast video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, link, like button, notification bell, all that shit. And we out. Another day I get better like every day. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How your money? My money? Great. My your business? Could business pay? Close you to you really be fake? Woman yeah. lost me, but it ain't cost me. Yeah. How you?